Listen to me, Imam. Imam Ayatullah Ruhullah Al Musawi Al Khomeini. We were about 400 of us. We waited for the Imam, and the Imam came in, not too far, about 10 meters away from where I was. I saw the Imam. He delivered a lecture to us for about half an hour, based on the Quran, nothing but the Quran. The man is computerized with the Quran. And when he came in, when he walked in from an outer room, you know, the elect effect it had on everybody. The charisma. You look at the man, and without any thinking on your part, tears start rolling down your cheek. You just look at the man and you tear. I never saw a more handsome old man in all my life. No picture, no video or TV can do justice to the man. The handsomest old man I have ever seen in my life was this man, Imam Khomeini. Now his name, you know there's something unique about his name. Number one, he is called Imam Khomeini. Now to us, Imam is a very cheap word. You know, whenever we go anywhere, says, who is the Imam of the Masjid here? But to the Shia, there can be no Imam. There is only one Imam they are waiting for, is the 12th Imam. You see, they believe in Imamat, that the Imam should be the spiritual leader of the Ummah. And the first Imam, according to the order of uh, Imamat, is Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu, first Imam. Then comes Imam Hassan, he is the second Imam. Imam Hussein, third Imam. And so on, it carries on till we come to the twelfth Imam, Imam Muhammad. The name of that Imam, the twelfth one was Muhammad. And he happened to be about five years of age when he disappeared. And they are expecting his return. They use a term, the learned men among the Iranians, occultation, that he has gone into occultation something like a spiritual hibernation, you know, going into some spiritual condition, something like that, that he is born and he is going to come back and he is the living Imam. He is going to come and he is the only one you can call an Imam. No other Imam. They have no Imam. Everyone among them, the learned man is a Mullah. Mullah means a Mulvi. And Ayatullah means Allama, the great Alim. When they say Ayatullah, it means in the terminology, Ayatullah is Allama, the great Alim. Mullah, Mulvi, and Allama, the great Alim. No Imam. But somehow, you know, it is accepted by the whole nation, Imam Ayatullah Ruhullah al Khomeini. Ruhullah is the name that his father gave him when he was born. Yeah, and you know what it means? Ruhullah means the spirit of Allah. This is the title of Hadrat Isa in the Quran. That's his title. Ruhullah. Then his Ayatullah means the sign of Allah. It's also another title of Hadrat Isa in the Quran. So his Ayatullah, sign of God. His Ruhullah, the spirit of God. Al Musawi, coming from the family of Musa, Al Khomeini, and from whom? The city of Qum is Khomeini. So they accepted him as the Imam. And he has declared Jihad. And the whole nation has accepted the Jihad. They are not waiting for the hidden Imam. But there is one great thing about this situation. That people are talking, suppose he dies. And if he dies, what's going to happen to the Iranian people? Will they go back to sleep? No. No. Until the coming of the Mahdi, so the real thing that they are waiting for is not Khomeini. They want to clear the stables. You see, Khomeini put it to them. He says, look, when the Imam comes, we are all expecting, we, we are expecting, the Sunni world, we are expecting Imam Mahdi to come and clean the table for us. You know, make us masters of the world, make us to sit on the thrones. The Sunni world is waiting. 
Until then, you know, we can carry on with our petty little uh, squabbles. What we are carrying on now. Keep busy. We keep ourselves busy, you see. It's only the Imam Mahdi can come and do the job for us. This is we, the Sunni world. Khomeini programs his people, he says, we must clean the world for him. That when he comes along, he can sit back and relax and say, well, Alhamdulillah, the job is done. So the nation is now geared to do the job. They are waiting for him to come and sit on the throne. Not to do the job. Not to do jihad. They must do the job. Whereas we, the Sunni world, we, we are waiting for Imam Mahdi to pull the chestnut out of the fire for us. So if Khomeini goes, the goal, the ideal remains. And the ideal is the coming of the Mahdi. Now, you know, there were a lot of people with us from all over the world. And I found types, types and types of people, sick people. You know the types of sicknesses, the mental sicknesses. I came across an alien from Pakistan, Maulana Sahib from Pakistan. Now he found that there's something wrong with it, all these things that are going on there. Because, you see, in Iran, if a person is lecturing, you know, like, as I have been lecturing here, suppose it was an Iranian audience. When I use the word Khomeini, the whole thing stops. The whole audience of a million, they will begin, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Three times. Every time the word Khomeini occurs in a talk, three times they must send guru on our Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But during the course of the lecture, if the name Muhammad occur, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then one time, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad, once. When the name of the Prophet occur, one time durood. When the name of Khomeini occur, three times durood. So the Mulvi Sahib, he says, man, you know, look at these people. Look at them. What kind of Muslims these are? When the name of the Prophet comes, they send durood once. And when it comes, the name of Khomeini, they send durood on Khomeini Christ. I said, what do they say? What do they say? I want to know from the Mulvisa, what do they say? This Durood al Khomeini. This Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. That's who's Muhammad? Khomeini? Since then, was he, who, who, who named him Muhammad? You know, but the sickness, can you imagine a learned man, but you know, the mind is so, so prejudiced. You are looking for force. Aha. You know, these Shia people, you know, when they make salat, you say, you know, they have a piece of clay. So, it seems like something shirk they're doing. They're worshipping the piece of clay. So why don't you ask them? Why do they use a piece of clay? What is the logic behind it? You see, the first time when I experienced this, it was in Washington, D.C. The Iranian students there, they invited me to deliver a talk to them. And it was Isha time, men and women, the boys and girls, who were studying in, in, in America at the time, we made salat. And of course, everybody was given a piece of clay tablet. I felt a little uneasy. So I put it aside and I made Basala with the Iranian students. And I wanted to know more about this thing. Wherever you go, they carry it in the pockets. So the logic of this clay is this, that we are supposed to make sujood on Allah's earth. We say, going down with the forehead touching the earth, we say, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, we say, touching the earth, he said, there's nothing wrong with that if I describe it. What you are touching, according to the Shia, the way he's programmed, is not earth, it's the carpet. And the carpet is man-made. You see? So, he wants to be true to that expression. He has been programmed from childhood that we must touch the earth. And what earth can be better than the earth from Karbala? Now, this is the logic. He's not worshipping the thing. But now, this is something we always make fun and mockery about the Shia. But on my way out from Tehran, in the plane, across the aisle, there were a couple of Shia. One of them, he took out from his pocket the clay tablet. And Allahu Akbar, you know, he performed the Salat. We see some of our brother, you know, they sit down and make Salat in the masjid. And when he finished, he gave this to the, his neighbor and he did the same. Of course, this is for us a big joke, is it not? Huh? But imagine, we were dozens of Sunnis 
on the plane. Out of the dozens of Sunnis, only one young man made the Salat. And that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs>